Hi, this is part four of the video series on how to create modern search center in SharePoint Online. So in the previous videos, we have seen how to create uh, a computer vision API and how to create a power automate flow to, com to consume the computer vision API, update the uh, image uh, image metadata into the SharePoint library and how to configure the search schema. So in this video, we're going to see how to use all these things which you have done in the previous videos and to create a search center using the PNP modern search web parts. So what are PNP modern search web parts? So this is a search solution, which is a community driven project and uh, which is now recommended by Microsoft as uh, the way forward for using uh, custom interfaces within the search scope. And uh, uh, so this is this solution offers a collection of web parts using which we can build custom search experiences You can customize anything you can think of and it is very extensible and it has it provides many uh, properties which are easily configurable for whatever uh, scenarios we are using it for right uh, so in this uh, the modern search center which we are building we'll try to use this solution uh, to build up our search page so how you can install this you can click on the current version and try to go to the releases page on github and download the latest version available so at the time of recording this video i'm using the march 2020 version yeah so you can just go here and download the SPPKG file and go back to your uh, app catalog site in your tenant or whichever uh, strategy you follow within your tenants. You can have a local app catalog or a global uh, tenant wide app catalog. Uh, just upload uh, the app package there and uh, deploy it uh, uh, there. And once it's deployed, uh, try to go to your uh, site contents page and add it in one of the site collection where you want to use it basically in my case i'm trying to install this app uh, in the image search uh, site collection uh, so you can click on new add an app and here you can search for pnp and you should see the pnp modern search web part so in my case it will not be it's not shown because it's already installed so i cannot install this app again because it's already installed right uh, so once you install the app, you can create a new page uh, or you can edit your home page, uh, whichever, uh, the, whichever way you want. So let me try to create a new page and I'll show you how to do it. So I just created a blank page. Uh, uh, so I'll not really worry about the header. So uh, let's come to the content area of the page. So I'll, know, I'll not need this text uh, web part. So first thing what we are trying to add is, uh, let's uh, try to change the layout to a, a one third right layout so that on the left section, we'll have uh, the search results and the search box. And in the right section, we'll have the refiners web part, right? Uh, okay so in the left section let's try to add a search box so i'll search uh, let's yeah this is the search box and below the search box i'll try to add the search results web part and in the right panel we'll try to have the search refiners okay Uh, search filters okay yeah uh, so and then coming to the search box uh, they are uh, one uh, once it's added uh, edit the properties of the search box and then you can connect it uh, to the search results page so let me save the page once i added the web parts so let's call it uh, search Okay, so now that we have all the web parts added to the page, uh, just edit the search box web part. And here we can have uh, a different, uh, these are the different options available within your uh, PNP modern search web parts. You can use a dynamic, uh, use a dynamic data source. So you can say, you can connect this search uh, web part to the search results web part, right? 
and search results properties we can select and the search box options uh, send the search query to a new page so this can be used when you want to just put the search box in one of the pages and redirect it to a different page where your search results web part is there right so in our case we will not be doing it uh, because we are connecting it to the search results web part and enable query suggestions if you want you can turn it on or off so that's about the search box and we should also connect the search results web part uh, to our search box so he, here we'll say connect to a source and here my source will be the search box which is uh, the search box web part which we added right and we take the search query uh, from the search box and in the search results we have multiple options again uh, you can choose a result source identifier so you can create a result source uh, which which tries to find uh, you can define any kind of query template there so you can have a query template which uh, tries to find items only uh, from your specific uh, document library and then you can edit the sort order so there are bunch of options as i said this is very extensible and uh, there are a lot of options which you can configure and you can use it for any uh, scenario so in our uh, in this case what we are trying to do we'll say connect uh, to a search refiners web part yes we'll have a refiners web part on this page yeah and this is one this is the one and we'll also use search verticals right so we haven't added the verticals web part but otherwise it will show up in this drop down then we can connect it to a search verticals web part and then we can select the custom properties what all we need so in our case uh, we have create we have some managed pro custom managed properties that start with isx right so we need the caption we need the colors black and white clip art and also the tags so we can select all the custom properties what we need here and then we can change the other settings whatever you want so i can select the number of items to be shown per page i'll make it nine so th these are the different options uh, which are available you can go around the options and see what can be used and you can you should also configure the search refiners web part so we can edit the refiners here and choose what all refiners we want so rather than making all this uh, as the configurations are a lot uh, rather than me making all the configurations i'll show you uh, what all configurations are done on my existing page all right So if I edit the page, uh, there's uh, the similar set of web parts are there, which we have added in the previous page. So there will be one additional web part, which is the search verticals web part. Uh, so the search box, it's already connected to the search result source. And let me try to edit the search uh, verticals and uh, show you what is there in this. So here we'll have properties uh, to configure the verticals. So I click on configure verticals and I'll say all images as one vertical, black and white and clip arts these are the three verticals and here I have to provide a query template so basically what I'm trying to do here is in the query template I am using the managed property as a filter so I'm saying ISX IS clip art so if clip art is false that means uh, basically I don't want to show the clip arts in all images so that's the reason I'm selecting for clip art to be zero which is false right and then the search terms so this will be the first vertical and i use a result source uh, which tries to filter for items only from my gallery image library so that is this is the result source id of the uh, custom result source and then we can provide an office ui fabric icon name uh, which is uh, shown as an icon here and for the second vertical i'll use the managed property is black and white and set it to one so that uh, this filter will show only those images which are of black and white similarly for clip art i'll use the filter is clip art to be one and then i use the search terms whatever the user uh, puts into the search box will be replaced uh, in in place of this search terms and then the respect to office ui fabric uh, icon names are used so once you click on save my search verticals is ready and let's go to the search results web part and see what all configurations i have done right so as we have seen previously it's connected uh, the source is connected to the search box and i get the search query and we can also specify a default query so i'll just use star as the default query and in the next page of the properties uh, what can we change so it's connected to a search uh, 
product results uh, search refiner web part and we should also connect it to the search verticals web part which is this one right and then you can use uh, the num paging properties you can change whatever paging you want and in the next uh, screen there are a bunch of result layouts which are available so you can use a simple list which could look like this it's a simple list and then a details list will look more or less like a sharepoint list uh, ui and then there is a carousel so so it's uh, it just shows uh, the uh, just shows the results in a carousel way in one line depending on the screen size you could see three or four uh, carousel images here and if you are designing uh, a search page for people search you can also use this uh, people result layout and then there is a debug option where you can see uh, this is just only uh, for debugging for the developers where you can see what all uh, metadata and what is the JSON schema being returned right and there is also a custom result uh, layout template uh, using this template you can actually design a complete custom template of your choice so this is the syntax for writing your own custom template so you can update it and make it work as per your uh, needs so in this case I'll be using the default result layout yeah and then once you select the template uh, you have uh, different fields shown in this uh, tile right so i have selected the tiles uh, layout and each tile or each result here is having different fields so you we can uh, choose what fields to be displayed here uh, by clicking on uh, manage card fields so here i'll have a title so uh, so for title i would like to show the managed property of caption so the caption will be shown as a title and for tags I'll use a handlebar expression here uh, so you can click on edit and you can see what's happening here so I check uh, if uh, this managed property is having a value and then we loop through all the values uh, and then we put an anchor tag for each of the value and the uh, the link for the anchor tag would be we are just updating the URL with this hash value which is image search tags this is the managed property alias I use colon and then the tag value so this will actually uh, help us in creating uh, a tag filter kind of an uh, functionality right so whenever users click on this tag uh, this particular hash value gets appended in the URL and which in turn gets updated to your uh, search box and the search results will be refined so that way we can also uh, put in some handlebar expressions and try to you know update the card fields so that's that's how we can put the tags uh, which is coming from the computer vision api as a tag on the search results page right for the preview image i'm using the default managed property which is a document link and for date also we use the default one and profile image i'll try to use the author's profile image so here what i'm trying to do is uh, we'll check the managed property of awa author ows user and then we use the uh, default uh, url uh, underscore layout 15 user photo dot aspx this is an inbuilt sharepoint page which accepts uh, the username and it shows the profile image of the user right so that way we can show the author image here instead of uh, the author field in the profile image and icon src this is for showing an icon next uh, to the tile so this we are not using it so that's the reason it's not showing the icon so that's about the different uh, card fields which i have configured to use all our custom properties and about the icon so i turned it off here so that's the reason we don't see an icon otherwise the icon once we enable each image will have an icon right so in our case because it's all images there is no point in showing an icon so this is turned off so that's about all the custom properties and uh, let's go to the refiners i think refiners uh, it's uh, pretty much the same configuration what we have seen earlier uh, there's no big change so with this uh, i think using all the pnp modern search web parts uh, it's really helpful uh, to create a custom uh, custom modern uh, experience uh, for a search center right so i think hope uh, this was very uh, uh, this was useful uh, hope you guys try it out within your organizations and see uh, how a search center for uh, images would help uh, thank you for watching uh, this videos uh, if uh, it's helpful 
please reach out to me uh, these are my uh, social media handles you can reach out to me on twitter linkedin or facebook thank you for watching the videos uh, see you in other videos bye bye